What's good, YouTube? Rashad Lamar here. Got another video for you today. This is gonna be something a little different. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do a top five today. This is gonna be my top five upcoming movies for 2020. So, as everybody knows, we got a special situation going on uh, with this virus. Um, it's causing a lot of trouble, um, and movies have suffered a lot. Uh, most movie theaters. As far as I know, still aren't open. I know there's a couple that are open, but like one of the bigger chains like uh, AMC Theaters, I think opens up, what, uh, today's the 22nd at the time of recording, so probably next week, I believe they said they're supposed to open. So um, the problem with that is there's not really a lot of movies released. Uh, produce, uh, a lot of uh, movie production studios don't feel as though uh, movies are going to be that successful right now because people are like afraid to go to theaters uh, movie theaters aren't open or people don't know that movie theaters are open so they have a valid reason for that however that said and that aside i still got some movies i'm excited to see i'm hoping this whole situation dies down for multiple reasons one of them being because i want to see these movies and i'm pretty damn upset that a lot of them haven't uh, released because of the whole situation going on um, regardless I'd love for these movies to come out ASAP so I can go ahead and watch them from my understanding pretty much all of them have been filmed already um, and pretty much done so uh, this is also going to be in order as well so from uh, one I'm least fa uh, least looking forward to to what I'm most looking forward to all right, so I got the list here. I'm gonna go ahead and get started for you. So first thing would be uh, the Candyman movie directed by Mia Da Costa. So maybe mispronouncing that. So for anyone who doesn't know, I've never seen the original Candyman movie. One of the reasons why I'm excited is actually because I haven't seen the original Candyman movie. So this will kind of give me an opportunity to go in fresh uh, with, you know, without being able to compare it to anything. I know sometimes that can be a bad thing, but I feel like for the person watching uh, the movie for the first time, I feel like it's usually better for them uh, not to really have anything known ahead of time because you just kind of get this fresh perspective and you're not really comparing it to anything. So I'm looking forward to that. One of the main reasons is because uh, Jordan Peele produced it. So at first I thought he was the director for the movie, but apparently I was mistaken. Again, it's, it's Nia, Nia DaCosta, and I'm not familiar with her work, uh, but I am confident in Jordan Peele um, and the combination of them two together, I feel like uh, should be fine. I don't feel as though I'm gonna be disappointed uh, with that movie. I, I enjoyed the other movie, uh, Get Out, of course. Um, and I forgot the name of the other one um, uh, with the little girl at the beginning. The, the horror film was it like us I believe it was called uh, something I'm pretty sure it was called us uh, or something along those lines so I enjoyed that movie as well so I feel like uh, this, this will be definitely interesting I'm looking forward to that that's my number five uh, Candyman uh, so my number four movie um, I actually have forgot this was coming out this year uh, but I just did a quick look up on it because this is one of who I am looking forward to the most. Uh, this is uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. So a lot of you all may not even realize this movie is coming out, <laughs> but uh, the Godzilla vs. Kong, so it's going to be like a combination of, of course, Godzilla from the re more recent movies and King Kong from... I believe it's going to be the one from the Kong Skull Island movie, the one that had uh, Samuel L. Jackson in it. Uh, so if that's the case, I don't really see how Kong would really stand a chance against Godzilla or how any version of King Kong stands a chance against Godzilla for that matter since Godzilla is literally, he literally, literally just became king of the monsters in the last movie and fought these like otherworldly, like, like alien creatures and shooting radiation out of his body and all this stuff whereas Kong just kind of it's kind of like a, a you know an ape with his fit bare fist and I guess he can bite him you know what I mean but I mean Godzilla's kind of dealt with it all at this point so um I feel like they're probably going to do a cop out and just make them uh, tie or something uh, hopefully they don't and I just want it to make sense. I want there to be like a reason why Kong can keep up with them, but I also wanted to make sense in that Godzilla should be able to 
uh, pretty soundly defeatist. Uh, but all the logistics aside, I just want like a hardcore, crazy action movie where they at least make an attempt with the story to make it not too cheesy uh, and so on. Because uh, some of those movies can get like overly cheesy. Um, I actually think I enjoyed the Kong Skull Island movie more because it, it just, something about it just felt like more real than the, the latest Godzilla King of the Monsters movie. It felt very cheesy, very over the top and not necessarily in a good way, though I did enjoy the movie overall. Uh, so uh, that is going to be my uh, number uh, four, Godzilla vs. Kong. So we're going to move right along here to next in line. So this is a movie that originally I wasn't paying that much attention to, um, but I definitely always intended to watch it as soon as it came out. That's gonna be the Mulan movie. So the animated Mulan for uh, Disney that I that I saw a while ago, um, you know, when I was a kid, of course, I didn't see it when it first came out, uh, but I did really like the movie. Uh, it seemed like there was kind of like a lot of like lore and real history there. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm intrigued by it because I don't feel like it's just going to be this, you know, really hardcore fantasy based thing. I'm sure they're going to have some fantasy elements in it. But I love it when they take uh, something that was like an animation and turn it into something so much more uh, using modern day technology. So I really love that sort of stuff. I'm uh, definitely looking forward to that. Um, I also found out something just today when I was uh, decided to make this video. <laughs> I found out something that got me way more interested that I haven't noticed. I don't know if I was supposed to notice in advertisements and stuff, but apparently Jet Li's in the movie. I didn't have any clue about this, but Jet Li is my dude. So I'm like, yo, let's get it. Let's go. I can't wait to see Jet Li they beat somebody down. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna use weapons and all this stuff, but I cannot freaking wait. Once I saw that, I was like, okay, now it's really on. I don't know none of the other actors for this movie, uh, but I know Jet Li. Pretty much everybody knows Jet Li. They know uh, he, he be like beating freaking people's faces in. So I say, let's get it. I'm super excited about that. Uh, so that is gonna be my number three. It's gonna be Mulan. Uh, directed by Nikki Koro. Uh, I know I missed the other director for Godzilla vs. Khan because I don't know the guy, Adam Wingard. Not familiar with his work, um, but hey, I got faith in you, or at least I'm counting on you. <laughs> so again, number three, Mulan. All right, we're gonna move on to our number two. Now this, this actually may surprise some people who actually know me in real life um, that this is my number two and not my number one. Uh, but my number two is gonna be Black Widow. Uh, it's gonna, of course, be featuring uh, featuring Scarlett Johansson, uh, directed uh, by again someone I don't know, uh, Kate Shortland. Um, don't know her. Not one of the you know well-known big name directors for like uh, the other uh, movies, as far as I know, like the Russo brothers and stuff like that. Um, but I'm still looking forward to it because. I haven't been disappointed in a Marvel movie, I think, since The Incredible Hulk. And from my understanding, most people really like that movie too. I wasn't feeling it as much. That's probably the only one. And I feel like they had to be like, what, like 10 years ago? That was a long freaking time ago. So I, I, I just feel like I know I'm going to like the movie. I saw the trailer. At first, when I heard about it, like a few other people, I felt like Black Widow? I mean... You know, if, if anybody saw, you know, uh, Infinity War, um, was it, uh, yeah, Infinity War, you know, spoilers, she, you know, she dies in the movie, <laughs> so, um, you know, you're like, okay, this has got to be like a prequel, right? Um, and then she didn't come back in Endgame, so, you know, we're, we're kind of feeling like her story's over, but, you know, they're going to, I guess, do like a little backstory. I think it'll be cool if they found a way to be like, oh, she's actually alive somehow in some kind of twisted way. I'm not one of those people who love for people to just die in a movie, stay dead, and that means better creative, uh, you know, better creativity because the character stays dead. 
I don't agree with that. I think that if you can find a way to bring them back and surprise the audience in a way that makes sense, well written and is, is just good all around, is what people want. Um, and it makes sense. I think that's what's most important. Not necessarily like, you know, just committing to something just because you, you feel like committing to it. Uh, so uh, we'll see how that pans out. Um, I feel like probably she's probably not coming back to, you know, in the future movies, but I kind of also feel like that would be a mistake uh, because she's so such a beloved character. I'd love to see her in as many movies as she feel like making. Um, you know, and feel like being in. So I'm hoping to see her more stuff besides just Black, the Black Widow movie and whatever other flashback type movies they have. Hopefully this this is something that will uh, tie directly into Phase 4 and she'll be a more uh, prominent character just like she was uh, in the last uh, couple movies. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. The trailer looks amazing. That, that got me even more, sorry, a piece of dust floating around. That got me even more excited for it. Um, Whereas originally I was I was kind of like mixed on it, but I saw the trailer and I was like, "Is Marvel being Marvel, baby? They're they're doing good." So that's my number two, uh, Black Widow movie. Definitely looking forward to that. Now for my number one, um, again this may shock a lot of people, uh, but there's a reason for it. So this is going to be a sequel movie, um, and I'm going to tell you what it is. I was totally in awe when I saw the first one uh, very surprised I know there's a couple people who don't like it which I have no idea why they don't but this is gonna be the Wonder Woman uh, sequel uh, so th this movie looks to be like one of the most amazing movies so I saw the uh, the original uh, you know not the, like the, the super duper old stuff but you guys know which one I'm talking about with Gal Gadot uh, so with with her, I was skeptical. You know, I saw her in the Fast and Furious, um, and you know, I just wasn't seeing it. But then I saw the Wonder Woman movie, and I was like, "Wow, this movie was incredible." You know, I love the way uh, she she uh, acted in the movie. I love like just kind of like the energy she portrayed. It was like it was like perfect. It, I mean, in my opinion, it's actually better than like the Wonder Woman, like kind of like the comics and cartoon. Um, you know, because she was like a little more of a warm and welcoming type of person, and like you know the the other. I don't know Wonder Woman to really be that person. She does. She always kind of came across as like a little bit on the colder side to me um, in some of the older material. But in this movie, they they really make you uh, empathize and feel like you just kind of want, like you would you would like to be in that world in a world with that Wonder Woman, you know? So I, I recall the action sequences were really amazing. I really love the story in the uh, first one. Um, but one thing that really shocked me is the guy, um, I can't remember his name, but I'm gonna have a picture up of him. Um, but I mean, he freaking, again, spoiler alert, he, he died in the first movie. And when I saw him in the trailer for the next one, I was like, yo, what the hell is going on, yo? I was like, nah, there's, there's just no way, nothing, none of that makes sense, um, and I can't wait to hear and see how they piece it all together, because I'm happy that they did this. I actually love it when they do stuff like that, but again, it has to make sense. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to be mad just because they brought him back, and you know, and it, it feel like it takes the realism out of it. I don't believe that. I think it depends on if they have good reasonings for why it makes sense, give the person a good role in the story, um, stuff like that. As long as everything pieces well together, I'm okay with it. I like the the, the style of it. it. It just gives such a different vibe than anything I've seen before. Um, the, the sequel looks to be a lot different from the original. Uh, so something about the way that this is designed it gave it almost gave me chills when I first saw the trailer. Like, wow, this looks so much different in the uh, the the art, uh, the promotional art. Like, really, you know, kind of put me on the edge of my seat. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, this is you know the the time period. Like, the, you know, the '80s time period looks uh, really, you know, just seems really interesting. So something about it, hard to describe, 
but the way that the um, the way the the promotional material as far as like the the poster the, like all the colors and um, in the trailer combined on uh, on top of my previous experience with it uh, with the original movie um, I'm totally floored in, in terms of looking forward to uh, the next movie so I cannot wait to see it on um, I'm, that's definitely the movie I'm most excited for. Uh, it's really between Black Widow and Wonder Woman, but I definitely had to give it to Wonder Woman. If I had to see w only one movie for the rest of the year and I had to pick one, it would be the Wonder Woman movie. You know, I've seen Scarlett Johansson and and a bunch as, as Black Widow in a bunch of other movies, so I'm excited for Black Widow. But I feel like I've kind of been there and done that with a lot of those other movies. Wonder Woman, we've really only seen her shine like once i know she was in batman v superman you know but that that was a whole different that's a whole different thing uh so that's my list uh, i'll go through it again real quickly uh number five uh is candy man uh, number four godzilla versus uh, kong king kong really um number three mulan number two black widow and number one is the Wonder Woman uh, sequel, which apologies, I believe it's uh, Wonder Woman 1984. Um, I'll have it in the poster, so <laughs> I mean, no one can really, I guess, correct me on that because I have it in the um, in the uh, in in my editing. I'll see exactly what the title of it is. I believe it's 1984. Uh, <laughs> so you might find it funny. It's like, oh, it's your favorite. It's the one you're looking forward to the most. You don't remember the name of it. You know, well, it's it's just a number to me. I know it's the one Wonder Woman's gonna be in it. That's the most important thing to me. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's my list. Uh, let me know yours if you're still looking forward to even going to the movies this year. Um, I'm going to try to find a way to go, hopefully, if these movies release. If they don't, then maybe I won't. Uh, but um, if so, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Let me know what your uh, top five or if you have a top ten movies. Uh, I don't feel like there's enough material coming out this year for a top ten for me. But if you have a top 10 or a top 5, let me know in the comment section. Uh, give me a like if you like the video and subscribe. Share it with your friends. It's going to be plenty more content like this coming, guys. I'll talk to you guys next time. Rashad Lamar out.